That breaking news from the nation's capital this afternoon, where just a little while ago, House Republicans have elected a new speaker. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kyle Betts. That election coming three weeks since local congressman and House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy was voted out as House Speaker, a role he had just for about 10 months. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein joins us now with the details on the new House Speaker and how House Republicans got to this point. Will. Yeah, Kyle, it has been a long time coming to finding a new speaker, and now we finally have one. His name is Mike Johnson from Louisiana. A crucial thing to note about Johnson is he comes from the Republican Study Committee. That's one of the committee's longtime goals are to limit spending. And, of course, the spending debate is how government nearly shut down in the first place and ultimately led to the ouster of former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. But now with an arguably more conservative speaker than McCarthy, it is unclear if the House will be able to make a deal with a Democrat-led Senate come the looming government shutdown date in November. The Speaker of the House has to cut deals to make things work. He has to negotiate with a Democratic-run United States Senate and with a Democratic president. Uh, he's going to have to compromise. So uh, ideological purity works really well when you're in the Republican conference, but when you are forced to deal with the other party, it certainly means that you don't get everything that you want. And it, the, the jury is still out, so to speak, on Speaker Johnson's ability to compromise with Democrats to get things done. One major point of contention between moderate members and the GOP, uh, moderate members of the GOP and Johnson's wing of the GOP may be military spending. We also have now a $100 billion package uh, that Joe Biden has talked about uh, to fund uh, the uh, Israel-Hamas war. Uh, the majority of that package goes to send more money to the Ukraine, which, by the way, Speaker uh, Johnson opposes sending more money to Ukraine. So there's going to be some really interesting moments over the next three weeks uh, that will you know, determine whether or not we face another government shutdown. And we just spoke with local Congressman David Valdeo to get his thoughts on the new speaker. You can hear from him tonight and the latest on the new speaker at 5 p.m. on our sister station, KBAK-CBS. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.